for centuries, a dog is considered a man's best friend. And the bond between man and his military working dog, it can be like no other. Yeah, photojournalist John Edwards introduces us to a local artist who's captured that human canine bond in a very special tribute to our military and their most faithful companions. For more than 30 years, Jim Mellick has been transforming large chunks of wood into wonderful dog sculptures. Letting the dog be the main vehicle of telling the story about our condition, our, you know, our, letting the dog talk to us about ourselves. About three years ago, Melek came up with an idea of how man's best friend can help us heal. By using this medium of wounded military working dogs to raise awareness of the same types of injuries our human wounded warriors are afflicted with. And sometimes people could look at the dogs whereas they see the wounded warrior, the wounded soldier in a new way by looking at wounded wounded dogs. Melik is raising attention on the sacrifice and needs of wounded veterans. All my dogs have have kind of been redeemed and they, they, they're in their dress uniform. They've been made new again and I think there's, a, there's an emotional connection. They, they didn't get their legs back but they have this nobility about them is what I'm trying to express. I think that's where the emotion comes through. The eye is over the you know, the window to the soul. The attention to detail on each piece includes a campaign ribbon on the collar. So each of the dogs represents the different conflicts. The earliest one I had was, um, was World War II. His current project is telling the story of actual four-legged heroes like Luca. She had discovered an IED, and this was in Afghanistan. She found one, found one uh, bomb and then a, a secondary bomb went off, and that's when she lost her leg. In the true story of Sergeant Patrick Tutko and his canine comrade, Jajo, they were targeted in Afghanistan with a remotely detonated, improvised explosive device. But the real art takes place by the people and the stories and the interactions that I have after the fact. It's not theater, I mean, this is reality and they're telling their, their real stories. Jim Mellick and his wounded warrior dogs will be telling their stories in downtown Marysville the entire month of July. Luca, the current piece Mellick is working on, will be unveiled at the National Museum of the United States Marines, and they're gonna be doing that, Mike, next summer. Really remarkable. Incredible. For more information to see the display in Marysville, just go to our website, NBC4i.com. Now, this summer, NBC4 is honored to partner with Canine Companions and welcome our very own Puppy with a Purpose. Over the next year, the NBC4 family will be part of the journey as our puppy trains to become an assistance dog. Yeah, we're going to be working very closely with Canine Companions. It's really a wonderful national nonprofit effort, and it's going to help us get our dog ready to help someone who has a disability. And it's going to be all free of charge to that person with a disability. But we need your help to name our new four-leg friend. We want you, our viewers, to help choose a name by participating in an online poll. Here are the options. Buckeye, Brutus, Bobble, and Burger. And you can visit NBC4i.com right now and click on the Local For You tab on our homepage, then scroll over the Puppy With A Purpose link and you can cast your vote. We'd like you to take part in this because we're so happy uh, to be picking. We don't